Perhaps there is no better sign of the changes engulfing Wall Street than this. Goldman Sachs is giving away its most valued software that has made it a trading powerhouse for free. Joining us now to discuss is Wall Street Journal news editor Jeff Rogo. Hi, Jeff. Great to see you. Good morning. So I guess we should we should be clear. They're not giving away giving it away to free to anyone, just to their clients. That's correct? exactly right. You, you and I can't just walk in there today and say, hey, can you give us this this stuff? It's not like Taco Bell. Right. You can't just get it. You got to be a high paying client. You've got to be worth it. And uh, and sure enough, then you can you can have the keys to the S kingdom. Still, it's pretty amazing for free. What is behind Goldman's seeming generosity here? I mean, part of it is just the changes on Wall Street. I mean, a decade ago, they were a trading firm firm with new Volcker rules, with the way that regulation has happened, where the banks uh, have moved into different businesses. It's just not as important a business for their bottom line as it used to be. The second thing is they're a customer service firm in a lot of ways. And this is a very easy way to get more people to sign up to be customers. And if you do take them up on it, you say, hey, yes, please install this software, you have to be prepared for people to come in and rummage around in your business a little bit, correct? Yeah, I mean, look, that you, you can put it onto your, your system, but it's a, it's what made it so great is how big it is and how many tentacles it has into all the data in the world, all the data in trading across all these different markets. And if you want to take your system and build it into that, they're going to need to be able to see a little bit. And it's called Security Database. Correct? Yeah, they didn't spend like six years coming up with a name. Right. Kind no, of like it's a Dave Matthews kind of basic. They just sort of figured one out. <laughs> Do we know what is behind this magic in Securities Database? Sure. I mean, this thing, you know, this thing was built by three uh, engineering dorks. We, we profiled one in the story. These guys were like listening to rock music, <laughs> aggravating everyone at Goldman Sachs, so much so that they wound up installing soundproof walls in their office so these guys could rock out and build this thing. But it was with Within the commodities trading group, and they quickly realized how important it was. And Lloyd Bankfine, who's now the CEO, ran that group, and they built it out to the rest of their rest of their trading business over the decades. Mm -hmm. And this thing, you know, was built 25 years ago, and it just—it's a monster. It tells you everything you would need to know to know your risk management in real time, and nobody, uh, nobody's been able to replicate that. And you've spoke to some clients who've had it installed. They don't have anything, anything to say about it yet, though. It's a little too early to tell, correct? I mean, so far, they're very complimentary. Mm -hmm. But any trading system that you're complimentary in the first year, th that's great. But you really, it takes time to realize, has this saved me from, you know, we, we, we have these big hiccups in markets. We had China earlier this year. Um, what happens when that happens? That's what we'll sort of learn. Is this thing worth its weight in gold when other people have it? Too we early. know it has solved Goldman. Too early to tell. Do we know if right. other people will be solved by it? Now, did it play a role in the 2008 housing crisis? It did. I mean, Goldman very, very famously, very presciently in 2007 went when we call short credit. They saw issues in the credit markets. They, they, looked, they were able to look at their entire book and say, we want to be underweight this this crisis to come. Mm -hmm. Other banks weren't. Right. We saw a similar thing in 1998 with the long-term capital management crisis. They saw the issues in Russia before others did. And it's SecDB that really helped them do this. Right. Nobody else was able to sort of withstand these issues as well as they were. Now, we know there are other management systems out yeah. there, right? BlackRock has Aladdin. Bloomberg has one. Are they also offering these for free to their clients? No, you're you're gonna you're gonna, you're pay, gonna pay for out. those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but Aladdin, they are. Uh, you know, BlackRock has changed the way it's used Aladdin a little bit. Um, Bloomberg's been a little more sticky. I mean, it realizes the community they've created within the Bloomberg system. But keep in mind, those are trading portals. Those are ways to to manage money. This is that times 10. Right. And this, this enables you to look at your entire management across a firm as large as Goldman Sachs and say, you know what, in the third derivative book on this, we're a little too exposed to this thing. We need to change. Sounds pretty amazing. All right, Jeffrey Rogo, thank you so much for that. Thank you.